Now we're going to be talking about splitting curves. What I'm going to do is start with a curve shape, and then explain how you would split curves and what the use of that might be. A splitting a curve can change a closed curve like this into an open curve, or several open curves. It can also d further divide up a curve that's already open. For example, a curve like this. Now these curves are two-dimensional, which means to split them, I only need an object that is two-dimensional. I don't need to create a cutting plane like I would if it was a surface. So I can use a straight line from my polyline tool here. And again, I'll create another straight line here. Now to do the split, what I would do is select my curve, select the split tool, select my cutting object, press enter. It says one curve split into two pieces. Now I can delete my cutting line, and here we have our two curves. Again, I can do the same thing here. Select my curve, press my split tool, select my splitter, press enter, delete my splitter, and now, as you can see, the cuts were made straight down the center, splitting it all the way along. Now this tool here is called the Trim tool, which can do the same or similar. Now to do that, let me show you. I'll put these two curves back together. I'll use my Join tool here. Let's create another splitting line. Okay. Select cutting objects. We're going to actually need to select our closed curve, click our trim tool, select object to trim, press enter when done. Now let's see what happened. In this case, what we've actually done is split the splitter. As you can see, all of the curve that was encompassed by our closed curve here is gone. So let's press undo, and again. Let's select this, we'll choose this, select object to trim, this, press enter. Now in this case, we have done the trim with our cutting tool here, and the half on the outside or the left side of our cutting tool, our cutting line, has disappeared or been trimmed. So let's delete all of that. So again, if I create a simple line, I can turn on my control points, and I can manipulate the shape, but even if I were to select one of these and press the delete key, all that's going to do is simplify my shape. It's not going to cut into the shape. For that, I'll need a splitter of some kind, and it can be anything. I can use a very elaborately curved shape, like this. Select here, press split, select cutting object, enter, delete, and again, here we have our sections of what's left.